Well, guys, how do you like this gathering? I think it went pretty well. We remembered the old days and also laughed heartily. I sometimes tell you that it's not for nothing that you moved to this village after all. JJ, it was a good time. Also, the meat was so delicious, I just ate too much. We can do this every week when everyone is free from work. What do you guys think about this? Good. Then we'll meet next week. Mikey, I think we can go home now. We can eat all the remaining meat in the morning. You don't mind that, do you? Of course not! You fried the meat just perfectly. This meat melts in your mouth. I can't wait to taste it again. I wish the next week would come faster. Well, in the meantime, we need to get to bed. Tomorrow we will have to do a lot of things. Good night to you, Mikey. I'm going to go and watch TV. I guess I wanted to watch one episode today. Mm-hmm. But no one knew that this sonic monster would come to visit us that night. How creepy and arrogant he was. I don't know why he came to us, but most likely he would like to see us closer before he kills us. But one thing is for sure, that he is not one of the good monsters. First of all, he decided to go into Mikey's room. I don't know what he was doing there, but obviously not to check if he was sleeping well. And then this Sonic decided to come to me. I was already fast asleep at that time, so I couldn't hear his footsteps in my direction. No one could have expected this to happen. JJ, you're finally awake! You're sleeping like a log! Hurry up, follow me! I need to show you something! I just heard it on the news, but they said it was very serious, so we have to go there! What kind of urgency is this? Do we really need to investigate some kind of crime? But then why didn't they come here and tell us about it in person? What could have happened overnight? Hmm, JJ, isn't this Frank and Steve's house? Why is there such a huge crowd of people here? Did something really happen to them? Let's go and see it soon! I think these traces of blood should have told us something. Where do they lead? To the basement? Something terrible is coming! I do not know how to react! JJ, get ready! There are a lot of people here. We'll have to come and look at it. Huh? Whoa! Ah! Frank! Steve! What a nightmare! Who did this? How could this happen? What kind of nightmare is this? Officer Adam, what kind of horror is this? Should we investigate this case? Give me my chalk and my notebook. I'm going to find all the evidence now. JJ, it's just terrible. I do not know how we will find the one who killed them, but there is enough evidence here. For example, this knife. Most likely someone killed them with this knife, but the knife is clean and there are no traces of blood on it. I think the knife was left to confuse us because there is more evidence here. For example, this shotgun, it will be evidence number two. I don't know why they needed it, but most likely they intimidated them with it. It's even possible that bullets will be found in their bodies. Do you think so? If that's the case, then it's just a nightmare what stress they've been through. What about this gun here? This will definitely be evidence number three. But then why did they leave it all here? Shouldn't they have taken it all with them so that we wouldn't find their tracks? Hmm. Mikey, I think I remembered something. Isn't that Frank and Steve's weapon? Maybe they were just trying to protect themselves with this. But even so, they were killed? Then it can explain a lot of things. We need to go to the police station right now and get our uniforms. Because I'm going to kill whoever did it. Then it turns out that we didn't find traces of blood on these weapons because they tried to kill the killer? Then that explains a lot! So we just need to find traces of this man, and then we can find the place where he is now? Did you hear that, Officer Adam? We're gonna find this killer ourselves. Trust us, we can do it. We will also take the reward. So give us our uniform. We'll leave now. I think I already know where we should go. What? JJ, and where are we going now? What do you want to do with all that we got? They said that even they didn't understand where this killer could have gone. Mikey, I realized that it wasn't done by a human just because the footprints were different from human ones. It was most likely a sonic monster. What? And I know he's very fast, and I even know where his lair is. So we're going to take a weapon from here and kill him here and now. 
JJ! You're just a genius if you thought of that! Then let's take these weapons as soon as possible and kill this sonic monster as quickly as possible! I can't wait for the moment when we kill this monster! How dare he even kill our friends! Mikey, take good aim! We are going to make sure that this monster does not die quickly. I want him to understand that he shouldn't have done what he did. Look at him! What a disgusting face he has, I just can't believe my eyes! You're right, JJ. I'm not even surprised that he was a monster. It's hard to become a hero with such a face. Then when will we find a way to shoot him? Mikey! Come on, shoot him right now! Hey, you sonic monster! Do you really think that you can so easily walk away from all the responsibility that you've avoided? Of course not! We came here to punish you for everything you've done! Mikey! He's trying to get down to the third floor, but he doesn't know that we can get him even there! Does he really think we're going to stop shooting at him if he goes down one floor? Hey, Sonic! If you can hear me and understand, then the only way to avoid us is to die from us! Don't even think that when we go down, we don't see you! He went even lower! Mikey, let's make him go down to the bottom and then run at us. And when he runs at us, he'll step on the traps that we left down there. You want him to die soon too, don't you? That's right, JJ. He won't be able to reach us. I would like to warn him that he will not be able to kill us in any case. Because we did everything so that he would definitely die. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Do you really think you're going to get to us? Don't step on the traps we left. Watch your feet, because soon you'll have one less leg. Finally, we killed him! I'm so glad it happened. So we were able to avenge Frank and Steve, and also for all the many people whom this monster managed to kill. Isn't that perfect? Now, I think we should go and report this to Officer Adam and Sarah. You're right. We need to go and tell them about it. I think they will be surprised by this, too. What do you think, Mikey? I think they won't even believe it at first. After all, no one has probably brought them such awards yet. Here's your killer's foot. We couldn't detain him because it was Sonic the Monster, and it was simply physically impossible to catch him. So we just killed him. I hope this counts as a successful job. JJ, we're also rich now because this Sonic Monster was wanted by many villages and countries. Just a Next perfect to me. day. Speaking of Mikey, it seems he should be home now. We have to go to the mine with him today to dig up ore there. I think he won't mind if we do it today, because he complained that he had no money. Hi, Mikey. Are you ready? Ready for what? What are you talking about? Oh, no! Just don't tell me we're going to the mine again. I really don't want to go there. What are you doing? Have you already forgotten how you complained that you didn't have any money? Then you don't have to go. But as I understand it, I motivated you to do it, didn't I? After all, you will thank me. Whatever you say, I hope you have a pickaxe, because I'm not ready for this at all. Moreover, there probably won't be anything better than iron here. Sheesh! What? You've been lucky twice! There's a pickaxe here! There's also just a bunch of diamonds that we can get today! I told you that you would thank me, and now we can start digging all these diamonds right now! JJ, I didn't know it would be so fast, but I really want to thank you. This should be enough for me to make repairs at home, or finally buy a new TV at home. In general, thank you very much for this opportunity. Hmm? You're welcome. Hmm? What is that? A tree house? It's also for sale, right? Listen up. I can see in your eyes that you want to buy it. Then why don't we finally buy a tree house? We could only dream about it when we were kids. Guys, I see that you have money. I'm ready to sell this tree house to you right now. Give me your diamonds and you can pick up the keys to this new house. How do you like that? Let us think. This house is pretty good, even very well, I would say. But somehow, I don't want to spend all the money we just earned on this. Then let's do this. You pay half and I pay the same. Then it turns out that this house will be ours together. Then we can have fun there together. We're buying this tree house. Thank you very much for selling this to us. I don't know what. I wish you good luck in this new home of yours. I hope you enjoy it. Of course we will like it. What is it about? Yes, Mikey? Yep.
from? I can't believe this isn't a dream! Then we have no choice but to kill this monster! I don't want our new treehouse to be destroyed because of this stupid monster! Take all the weapons we have in the chest and let's finish this monster here, once and for all! Hey, you dumb monster! How dare you attack our village! Don't you think that's a little too brazen of you? Get out of here quickly! What did you do? Are you destroying my house? Why are you doing this? What have I done to you? Mikey, get out of there now. This monster is not going to feel sorry for you or your house. Hmm? You're okay, right? I hope you won't cry about it now. Hmm? What is he doing? Where is he going? Hey, you monster. Don't you dare do that. No! Get away from my house quickly. You don't have to ruin it. I can't believe you just came to our village. Destroyed half of the houses. You're also destroying my house. You're just something. But trust me, we won't forgive you so easily. You're going to regret this. I promise you that. Mikey, come here quickly. Let's teach this idiot a lesson right now. Where did you run off to? You pathetic coward. Did you realize that you couldn't beat us and decided to just get out of here? What a vile monster you are. I completely agree with you. But what are we going to do now? My house and yours are dilapidated. We only have our tree house and a little gun. And we must somehow kill this monster. I'm sure he'll come back or worse. Go to another village and do the same thing. JJ, that's why we have a shop in the village where we can become bigger. And then our chances will be at least equal. Hey, hey. All right. Hi, guys. I see that you have come for potions. Then you have 64 bucks with you. You have that kind of money, don't you? No, unfortunately. But we both know where we can earn so much money. Isn't that right? Then let's go to the bank soon. I am sure that we will be able to take money from our account there and buy these potions. Sorry, I'm sorry, guys. But when that monster attacked us, all the villagers took all the money from our bank and now we have no money at all. There's nothing even in the safe upstairs. I hope you can forgive me. I think not. We can't do this. You do realize that our money was also in this place, and now we don't even have a cent. How are we supposed to buy those potions now? Mikey, do you have any other ideas? You always offer something interesting, don't you? Okay, JJ, I have an idea. But I don't really like it, because I didn't want it to happen that way. If my house is almost destroyed but not completely, then I can try to look for money there. I have one chest in my basement where all the money is stored. I hope this chest is intact. Your basement looks pretty intact, so everything should be fine with your chest, isn't it? Yes, that's just one problem. Just don't tell anyone about this. Open the chest and take a look. Mikey, why? You've always complained that you don't have any money. It turns out that you have a chest full of money. How is this even possible? Did you rob a bank? If only we have money for that. Now we can buy potions from this seller right now. Hi, guys. I see that you really want to become bigger. Then give me your money and I'll sell you these potions. Hold it. How much money have you given? I can't believe my eyes. Thank you very much and good luck to you. Thank you very much and good luck to you. JJ, now that we have everything we need to become bigger, let's use it soon. Finally, we will be able to take revenge on that stupid monster thug who destroyed our village. And most importantly, he destroyed our homes. Then let's go find this monster soon. Do you remember where he ran off to that time? Because I can already see him. Look at this idiot. I can't believe he thought we couldn't find him. Let's finish him off quickly and get back to our treehouse. Yes! That's all I think about, too. Because of that idiot, we couldn't even celebrate our first day in our new treehouse. Now I'm so angry that I have to kill every monster I meet on my way. You can hear that, right? Hey, you're a monster. I promise that no matter what it costs me, I'm going to kill you. He seems to understand you. That's why he wants to run away from you so much. Look at him. He's shaking all over with fear. Ha 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 ha. Isn't that right? He understands that he does not have enough strength to defeat the two of us and wants to escape from this place as quickly as possible. Since you started this battle, you'll have to finish it. Do you think he can do it? It is unlikely that he will be able to do anything other than run fast. No matter how far you try to run away from us, we won't let you do it. Tun tried to destroy another village while we were chasing him. Now we have to avenge all our friends and neighbors. You're right. That's why we need to go all out now and kill this monster here. You have nowhere else to run. We are here to do just one- Come near me! Get away from me! Otherwise I might get angry and then you're definitely dead! JJ! I do not know what-
what we are going to do. Get away from them, you stupid monsters. Do you want to fight? Then fight with us. What happened? Were you scared? I hope you're okay. If you want, you can come with us and take a break there. I think we will be only too happy about it. Thank you very much. Mikey, let's go with them. They will definitely be able to help us. It's our first time in the city. Exactly! And they are also so strong! I think they're from the police! Look at their uniforms! They seem to work there as a family! You guys have understood everything perfectly. We work in the police as a family, but this is our house. How do you like this place? Do you like it? You can come in and make yourself at home. It sounds very good. JJ, you go first. They have such a cool house. JJ, this house is huge. Yes, I think the same. But are you sure we won't bother you? Is there enough room for you to spend the night here? We don't mind. You can lie down right here. I hope you can get a good night's sleep. Thank you very much. We are so tired of the road. So the monsters also attacked us. Ah, okay. Good night, Mikey. And you too. <laughs> Did you think that if you scared us and scared us away, then we won't find you and we won't catch you? You have no idea what we can do to you. I think I even know what I can do right now. Take someone away from here and then it will shock you. Hmm, who should I take with me? Hmm, it seems that you are too big and strong. We will not be able to keep you in our cage. I think it's better to take this guy who is much smaller. Hey, 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 now try to find us. You won't succeed. Well, this is quite arrogance. I can't believe that someone could decide to steal this guy. What are you going to do now? We don't know, but we really want to figure out who could have done it. If we find him, we will definitely punish him. Listen, guys, couldn't you help us find our son? Of course. We will be only happy to help you for what you have done for us. Tell us what to do, and we will do it. Well, it's very simple. You need to find our son. If you need anything, then you can ask us for anything. Therefore, we really hope that you will be able to find it this way. But we will also put our hand to work. All right. What are you going to do now? You're so small. Even if you can get out, you won't be able to deal with all the problems that are here. This is a situation against you. We sent an email to bring us money for letting you out. And we also asked them to bring us those two guys we couldn't rob. You don't even know what they'll do to you if they find this place. You better get ready for the fact that you're all going to be gone soon and you're going to get a big bill from the hospital. JJ, it seems to be their place. It's so good that those guys gave us a policeman's uniform. They also said that our weapons will be lying near their base. Therefore, let's run there for our weapons. I'm so interested in what kind of weapons are there. Mm-hmm. Sheesh! They definitely didn't skimp on our weapons. Look at how many different weapons there are. I don't even know if we need that much to save that guy. Mikey, now we need a plan. More precisely, we need to get to their base. JG, don't worry. I already have an idea how to do it. They gave us a drill that can drill through any wall. Therefore, we will now go to the thinnest part of their base and make a hole there from where we can get to their base. I think this place would be perfect for us. I can already see them. Mikey, it seems they can see us too. So the plan to sneak in quietly didn't work anymore. That's why we need to shoot them from here. Then we'll get inside and kill everyone who is there. Mikey, I hope you understood me well. Of course I understand you. But look how many of them there are. But it's all for the sake of those guys who helped us. That's why I'm not going to retreat or run as I usually do. I'm ready to fight all these guys just to save our guy. Hey, you dumb monsters. If you think you can beat us, then you better think twice. You won't succeed. Mikey, shoot at those you see. Then when there are fewer of them, we can go inside and save that guy. There are still a lot of them here, so it's too early for us to go there. Mikey, how many more weapons do you have left? I don't have much yet, but I think it's enough for us to deal with everyone who is here. I have a lot of it. It's enough for us to deal with him. We just need to be a little patient because my hands are already hurting from shooting non-stop. How long will we have to kill these monsters to finally save that boy? JJ, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything, but it's time for us to start doing something. I hear a bunch of monsters to my left, and in order not to waste a lot of time, I will throw a grenade at them so that they moderate everything together. Hey you, did you think you could sit there forever and that I wouldn't notice you? You've made a big mistake. Do you think that boy is going to be in this prison? There's no one here at all. But I already know that there are 
are a couple more monsters waiting for us to come out. Therefore, you will be ready to shoot at them immediately after we leave this building. Mm-hmm. Sheesh! Finally, we killed all these monsters. I didn't think there could be so many of them. Hi, guy. We've come to save you. I hope everything is fine with you. I'm fine. Thank you so much for coming here to save me. I'm so glad to see you. We are also very happy. Moreover, helping the parents of the one who saved us from these same monsters is the best. Are you serious? Then two guys came and killed all the monsters on guard? I can't believe it. Best feeling I've ever experienced. Yes, Mikey? Mm hmm. And now I think we can finally get out of here and take this boy to his parents. Then finally have a good rest. Of course, but something still bothers me. Don't you think it's too quiet here? What? Then he will go up to the roof and look at this place again. Hmm? JJ, you were right. Monster help has come here. They want to kill us all. We'll have to do it faster than they will. The boy! Stay close to us and don't go too far. These monsters only came here to take you with them. But they won't be able to do that because they're too dumb for that. Hey, you monsters. What happened to you? It seems you can't jump? Then you're out of luck that we came up here on the roof. I thought it would be much more interesting. JJ, are we sure we have enough weapons? Because my bullets are running out too fast. What will we do if they run out? I can kill another couple of monsters, but then I do not know what I will do. I hope you still have plenty of ammo to protect us too. What is it? It seems JJ fell asleep under the tree there. So I can scare him. Boo! What happened to you, JJ? Why aren't you breathing? Tell me you're alive. I'm begging you. It seems that JJ is dead now. I can't trust you. We only recently had to go to the mine and dig out a bunch of ore there to earn money. What a pity that all this will now remain only in dreams. But what happened here? I need to figure this out. I see that something terrible has happened here. There are a lot of traces of blood and the villagers are lying dead. I think that today I can become the one who will solve this issue. I just got a brush, which means I need to collect all the evidence and figure out what could have happened here. For example, this weapon. Most likely this weapon was used to kill all the people here, and this means that it will be the number one clue. But so far, this is not enough to understand what really happened here. And this means that I need to find something else that will help me solve this riddle. What else is so suspicious here? Yes, it's obvious that everything here looks very suspicious. But I need to find something that will help me find the killer. I need to search all the places that are here. This is the chainsaw. How can we have such a chainsaw in our village? Does this mean that these guys are either engaged in cutting trees or borrowed it from someone? But nevertheless, it will be evidence number two. We must remember about this too. We should also think about why these guys needed this chainsaw because I can't get it into my head. If there were a Jedi here, he would most likely solve this riddle very easily and quickly. This man, his face is visible, and I can tell that someone must know his face for sure and can help me identify him. Then it will be very easy for me to understand how all this can be connected with each other. A man, a cannon, and also a chainsaw. It's all so weird. It's just incredibly strange. Evidence number three, but I still don't understand who and what was going on here. I think I should go to that guy's farm. He is very smart and will definitely be able to give me an accurate answer to what could have happened here, or at least help me with this. I hope he's still there. What? What kind of horror is going on there? It's a nightmare. I need to put out this fire right now. Otherwise, it will destroy this whole farm. And then there will be an end to all these delicious buns in the store. It's good that there are water balloons here. With this, I can definitely put out all this fire and not fry myself. Come on, fire up! Do you think that if you're so hot you can burn everything around? If only it wasn't like that. Today, I'm Mikey. I'll stop you once and for all. There's still a little bit left. And now I can say for sure that I stopped a fire that could have burned everything around. Now we can be safe. And where is the farmer himself? I hope that everything is fine with him. Oh no, dude! Don't tell me you're dead too! Cool off and wake up! You have to help me! Mikey, you, I can tell you that you need a house, and there you can. Ugh. What? Wake up soon! You can't die like this! What a nightmare! What happened here? I have to look for a house now, so what? What should I find in this house? 
We'll have to search the whole village to figure out which house he was talking about. Huh? I think he's this house. But this house is locked. How it pisses me off. Now I need to find the key to this house. I think it was about this house that the farmer told me. But where could this key be? I need to search all the houses around to find this thing. Think Mikey. If you were the key, where would you most likely hide? Although probably the one who locked that house threw away the key? Then maybe I should find a thing that will help me break down this door. Precisely. That sounds like a good idea. And it's so good that I found these lock picks. Now I just have to open that door. More precisely, I need to break down this door. No wonder I learned to do it from JJ. I knew it would be good for me. Mm -hmm. And now I was able to come in and understand why I needed this house. SCM. Everything looks quite normal in this house. What's the big deal here? Maybe it's the carpet. The red carpet is very expensive. I'll take it for myself, and then I can sell it somewhere. But I don't think the farmer would send me here just because of the expensive carpet! Hmm? What is that? An underground base? I think I should go inside and see what's in there. Oh, but this base looks very cool. Everything is so interesting and futuristic here. I think that's what the farmer wanted to tell me. What kind of armor is this? It looks just incredible. I think if I take it for myself, then no one will mind it. There was no one here anyway. And most likely, this base was abandoned. So, Mikey, now this armor will be yours. How heavy this armor is, and it looks just powerful. I feel protected as if I'm wearing bedrock armor. And what kind of door is this? I'll open it. Hmm? There's some kind of computer here. I think if I try to hack and see what's there. For example, this video. What's there? What is that? What kind of scary bed with hands? It looks like some kind of monster. What does he want to do? Don't think about doing that. Don't even think about taking JJ away. What a vile monster you are. No, no, no! I know what you're thinking! What a freak! Put it back in its place and give it to me! What are you doing? Why do you need JJ? Leave him alone! What's happening? Ah! This monster bed has gotten bigger. It's terrible. How am I supposed to save JJ now? This bed can jump like it's some kind of cricket. Where is he going and what else does he want to do? Ooh! Are you serious right now? Are you going to get even bigger now? It's just some kind of monster. Let my friend JJ go and get out of our village. I can't watch this. I think I don't have time to think about it anymore. And I have to do something. I'm going to take this weapon right now and go hunting for these monsters. I can't afford to look at it through a computer screen. It's a pity that this base will now be abandoned again. But this is nothing compared to if our entire village is destroyed. That's why I can't let this happen. Hey, you monster! Didn't you think you could just take my friend and get huge and destroy our whole village? You made a big mistake! Because today I'm going to stop you from doing it! I was looking for a way to get JJ back, and you just took him away like it was some kind of thing. I think I understood what happened at the place where all these clues stand. But now it doesn't make sense because you're standing in front of me. And all I need to do now is kill you. Do you feel anything at all or not? It's like you don't, it's like you don't care about any of this. But I know that's not the case. Otherwise you would have attacked me too. But why don't you do it? You just want to make fun of me, don't you? But you're doing this for nothing. Because you're starting to annoy me more and more. And it's not because you're such a weird monster, but because I can't shoot at full force because of JJ. You're getting smaller and smaller. It means that you will be finished soon. You shouldn't have done that. It means that your weakness is higher temperatures. How lucky I am that I have everything for this. I have a flamethrower and a laser that has a huge temperature. You've become even smaller. <laughs> JJ, you're finally here! Wake up soon! It's already over and you can wait!